Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what we're talking about is uh, setting up a flounder rig with using gulps but it's a tandem rig and the reason I'm, I'm doing a tandem, tandem rig is because there's so much gunk in the river you know I'm fishing Indian River Lagoon here mostly from Stewart up to say Vero there's so much of this I don't know what it's called. I call it snot algae, but it's just like boogers, you know. So anything you bounce on the bottom, within two feet, your jig is just foul. You know, nothing's going to hit that. So if you're fishing for flounder, I want to show you a way to do that, the way to get around that problem uh, using a tandem rig. So what it was, the one will be on the bottom kind of trudging through the stuff, and your other one will be up your line a little bit not getting gunk all over it so you know uh, just it'll, it'll be maybe 9 10 12 inches off of off of the bottom so it's not going to be getting fouled basically is what this setup allows you so let me just go ahead and show you it's probably easier all right flounder rigs with a gulp setup okay if you've seen any of my videos you know that in my opinion a gulp is the best that there is you bounce a gulp on the bottom a shrimp gulp or a mullet gulp on the bottom it's probably the best rig that there is to catch flounder well if the bottom's all gunky you can't do that okay so what this depiction is showing you right here is you, you can tie a feather you can tie a, another jig you can tie whatever this is basic you probably just tie a weight if you wanted to but i like the idea of potentially catching something on the bottom rig too um, so this is basically just a weight that you're using in order to, with the tension you're going to keep on the rod is to keep your, your other reel bait up above the gunk that's on the bottom. Because as we know, a flounder is sitting on the bottom, probably covered up with something, waiting for potential prey to come its way. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to work this thing slowly on the bottom with a twitch every now and again. I mean, some people work it fast. But, uh, you know, I grew up bass fishing with worms, and I, I like a slow retrieve on these kind of things. But, so you got this guy kind of weighting it down. This is a loop knot, or you can do a dropper loop, whatever you need to do. Uh, that's what that's supposed to depict there. About 12 inches in between your two uh, different, different lures here. And on the top one, I don't use a jig head, because, again, I don't want it weighted. I want it up above. So I'll use like a number three or number four, you know, the example I'm going to show you is going to be a three-aught octopus hook. But whatever kind of hook you want, but it's no jig head. And the curly thing is supposed to be the um, swimming mullet that gulp has, okay? But a gulp shrimp works just fine. Heck, even the unscented things will work just fine a lot of the time. But gulp works best, okay? So, so that's what that is. That's a, supposed to be a swimming mullet, and it's got a little three-aught octopus hook there and then you got your um, your your dropper loop and the bottom line is when there's too much gunk on the bottom use this setup when there's no gunk on the bottom the single you know gulp jig uh, to me is about the best thing there is but I'm gonna go ahead and show you actually how to tie the easiest dropper loop that there is uh, in my opinion. You know, this is what I do when I'm doing pompano or whiting or something. I'm just going to show it to you real quick uh, just so you know how to do it quick and easy and it's the easiest way that there is. Alright, so I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it can be to do a dropper loop. I'm going to use my earbuds here, my, uh, you know, for, for the line and my black shirt so you can see all. All you do is you fold your line over like this, okay? You're going to take it and you're going to go one, two, and cinch that down. Easiest thing that there is in the world. Easiest thing that there is, right? And then all you do is, you know, we're going to pretend like this paint can key is, is your jig or your hook or whatever. So then it's super easy because all you got to do is you slide the double in just like this. Boom. Check it out. Your hook's on there. It's not coming off either. 
I mean, if you want to, you could tie again, but I'm telling you, I use this all the time and it just never, ever, ever comes off. Easiest thing in the world to do is just like that. Here, I'll show it to you again. So pretend like this is your leader, okay? You're going to double it over like this, right? One, two, cinch it down, dropper loop. Push it, push, push it through the eye, go over the hook, bam. That simple. Here's what your setup's going to look like in the end. You got your weighted one on the bottom here, and I'm just using DOA cows because I didn't have any open gulps, and I, you know what it's like if you open a gulp, it gets everywhere. So just pretend like this is a shrimp gulp or a mullet, swimming mullet gulp, and pretend like this is one of the same. And that's your setup. You got your heavy one on the bottom, about 12 inches a liter. You got your one, it's just got this little hook in there. You see that? Just a little three out octopus hook. This is the one that's usually going to catch them. Because this one's going to be gunked up, but if it's not gunked up, a lot of times the bottom one will catch them. And then you have this, you know, coming up, and you can have a barrel swivel or whatever you want on here, just for easy access. So you might want to tie a few of these, especially if you're fishing docks or oysters or something where you're going to lose your rigs. Just have a few of these rigs set up. But this is a great way to keep one of your jigs, one of your presentations, one of your lures for a flounder out of the goop. All right, so here you have it. Things coming, bouncing along the bottom just like this. Just keeps it up because you're going to be in an angle and that one's going to be just above the bottom. Add all the goop. That's the setup that works. Mm -hmm.